California's Silicon Valley is known for its game-changing innovations. Computers, search engines, social media network, and robotic-assisted surgery. For more than 20 years, Intuitive has focused on innovating for minimally invasive care for hospitals, physicians, and the patients they serve. We pioneered the Da Vinci XI and SP systems right here in our Sunnyvale campus. Following lean manufacturing standards, we manufacture the three components of the Da Vinci system. The surgeon's console, the patient side cart, and the vision cart. Let's take a closer look. We're here on the manufacturing floor where our Da Vinci XI and SP systems are manufactured. I'm a training specialist teaching manufacturing technicians lean manufacturing standards. Let's explore the floor for a brief glimpse into the people and processes behind the Da Vinci systems. Lean manufacturing is the utilization of standards, principles, and practices that focus on eliminating waste in order to improve productivity and efficiency. We go to great lengths to engineer quality into our manufacturing processes. This ensures that each step we do adds value to the product, delivers high quality product, and ultimately results in a high standard of patient care. Over at this section, we build the Surgeon's Console's Master Tool Manipulator. It is the joystick and the arm on the console that the surgeon uses to perform surgery. All the parts needed to build the arm are here in the single part presentation kit. Our technicians receive only the parts that they need at their station to build the assembly. Visual controls help us ensure the accuracy of the assembly. In addition, any tool that requires maintenance and calibration is tracked. This is a torque wrench that's set at 2.5 inch pounds so that we don't over tighten or even strip out screws. This is critical in our process and so it is on a maintenance schedule. Let's proceed this way. Every part used in the manufacturing of our product is digitally recorded and tracked. We know the entire genealogy of the parts used this allows us to track any variability in components. Here, we have one of our many status boards out on the production floor. Holding status meetings at the start of each shift allows every employee to be informed and to become part of the resolution of issues. At this assembly, the technicians are building the universal surgical manipulator, which is the arm mounted on the patient side cart that holds a surgical instrument or a camera. In this case, at every station, our technicians are trained on how to build with accuracy and use tools to improve their productivity. Each step we do adds value, which ultimately results in a high quality product. The training of our technicians takes about 30 days per station. They sit side by side with the trainer all day long, every day. The end training phase is where the technician learns to master the assembly through controlled work instructions. The mentoring phase is where a technician learns how to improve their efficiency. The focus is on how to hold and use tools to improve their productivity. Once the technician can demonstrate that they can consistently reach tack time, we'll perform a certification evaluation. After certification, if the technician has not performed the process within the last 90 days, our system requires them to be recertified to the process. In training new employees, I tell them, you need to learn to build this system as if it's gonna be used on a friend, a family member, a loved one, or even you. Case in point, one of our trainers, Randy Gallopon. Hey, Randy. Carolando. A few years ago, Randy ended up in the hospital. He had to have his gallbladder removed. As they brought him into the operating room, he saw Da Vinci system waiting for him. And he thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Hey Randy, why don't you tell us the story? Sure, Orlando. So I was taken inside the surgical room and I was already amazed at that point that the hospital actually has a dedicated room for a Da Vinci i3000 system. So when I got home, I wanted to personally thank everybody who worked on the system. It occurred to me that I was actually one of them who built the system that was using me. We wanted to give Randy that opportunity to thank those people. And so in an all-hands Monday morning meeting, we allowed him to do that. 
And I was nervous and I was excited at the same time because nobody knew that I had surgery. So as I went through my list, I would read the name of the technician and I would look for him or her in the crowd. I would say, thank you. And you would just see that amazement in their eyes. They were surprised that they did something special. The room was filled with teary-eyed friends of Randy who had worked side by side with him for many years in the factory. Randy, that's an amazing story. Now get back to work. Thank you, sir. This is another great example of lean manufacturing at work. This is the base unit of the Da Vinci XI patient side cart, and it weighs over 500 pounds. To save cost to the customer, we don't have it manufactured in New York and shipped all the way across the United States. Rather, a local vendor delivers it directly to us here in Sunnyvale. At this station, we're building the core column that will be brought into an upright position and lowered into the place here. Large bolts will then be installed and fastened with over 100 foot-pounds of torque. At this stage, we're going to install the computer logic system into the DaVinci XI patient side cart. And then we'll run cables to the computer. In the back, we're going to install three lithium-ion batteries that gives the XI patient side cart backup power. Once this sub-assembly has been completed, it will go through test. And then we'll move it to our final assembly area, this way. This is where we finalize the assembly of the patient side cart. We're gonna mount onto the orientation platform, the proximal distal arms, and the patient clearance assembly of the setup joint. And then we'll mount onto it the universal surgical manipulators. The system will be functional once that's complete, and it's now ready to be tested. Since this is the first time that all these gears are put into motion, we want to give them sufficient time to wear in so that we ensure smooth motion and functionality of the system. Let's take a few moments to talk about our advanced data collection and analysis capability. Each DaVinci system goes through testing during the manufacturing process. The data for each and every measurement is collected and it's analyzed by our manufacturing and design engineering team to catch any shift in performance. There's three types of tests. Automated, where a technician initiates a test by pressing a button and the test runs automatically. Manual, where a technician has to manually take physical measurements. And visual, where a technician performs various visual inspections. Furthermore, we have full digital traceability of every assembly operation down to the individual operator, the equipment used, and even the time and the date of the activity. How's it going? We're now at the part of the factory where we perform our systems integration. A technician will connect the three components of the system and test it for the very first time as a surgical system. Once they have finished the test cycle, they have verified that manufacturing's job is completed and that the system functions correctly. This is our final quality inspection area where test technicians will perform three surgical procedures on simulated models. This is Chen Li. He is testing the dexterity and the command of the system, making sure that it is articulating in the correct manner ensuring that it'll work for the doctor in a surgical setting. This is a simulation of a gastric bypass that Chen completed yesterday, and he's currently working on a simulation of a TCAP procedure, or a total endoscopic coronary bypass. Every component of our system must work in unison. The surgical platform, the instrumentation, the vision system, and the software. Chen has just completed his simulation of the TCAP procedure, Take a look at the suturing around that. The same care and quality that you have seen today must also be maintained in making our instruments, our accessories, and our vision systems. We strive for this level of quality in everything we make, knowing that it will ultimately cross paths with the patient. What I've shown you today is only a part of the activities that go into making our Da Vinci system 
the most amazing robotic-assisted system in the world. At Intuitive, our mission statement is, we believe that minimally invasive care is life-enhancing care. Through ingenuity and intelligent technology, we expand the potential of physicians to heal without constraints. When we sell a system, we look at it as a relationship with the hospital, the doctor, and the patients they serve. We're so grateful to have so many healthcare providers throughout the world who believe in our technology and have brought it into the mainstream of surgery and into the communities where they reside. The advantages to having the latest technology is that it has actually attracted more surgeons and has brought on more subspecialties. Intuitive support small symposia to teach young doctors Da Vinci system training, which is helpful to maintain my practice. There are trained bedside assistants. There is also a mentoring surgeon like me. The more complex the procedure is, the more surprised the patients are that even these procedures can be done in a minimal invasive manner. In terms of advantages for the Royal London Hospital having a Da Vinci XI, for us in gynae oncology, we've seen a reduction in length of stay. Our historical data from 2016, our women who had laparoscopic surgery for endometrial cancer had a length of stay of 2.6 days. And even in our first year of robotic surgery, we were able to take that length of stay down on average to 1.4 days. And we're now seeing that we can discharge women on the same day following a XI robotic hysterectomy. This really is the most striking aspect of looking after these women. It is like driving a Mercedes Benz on a highway, which is very good. Patients come asking for robotics and seeing the happiness of the patient on their face itself is the biggest boon to a surgeon. I thank Intuity for this journey in supporting us and I hope these continue to evolve both for the surgeons, for the Da Vinci community and also for the patient. <laughs>